the thing that is very special about Coney Island Prep is that we have Pride Promise. Mm -hmm. um, and Pride Promise is basically the promise that we match any scholar that's going to um, college, their scholarship funds, um, given certain criteria, but every single scholar is eligible to get college um, money. Hi everyone, I'm Monica from SCOLA. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's SCOLA School Chat video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our awesome school interviews. Ready to look at some schools? I know I am. Let's jump right into it. Hey, this is Sean with SCOLA and I'm here with Patricia Sanchez, Director of Operations here at Coney Island Prep High School. Uh, thanks for having us, first of all. Thank you for meeting with me. Of course. And just to kick things off here, can you tell me a little bit about the school and kind of what's the mission here? Yeah. Um, so Coney Island Prep is a network of four schools. Um, I specifically work at the high school, but we mm -hmm. have an elementary school that serves K-2 students. We have an upper elementary school, school that serves um, third grade through fifth grade. We also have a middle school that serves sixth through eighth grade. And here at the high school, we have the high school is from ninth to twelfth grade. We have about 338 students um, and over 30 courses that we um, offer the students. Um, we have a dedicated college and career readiness team. Um, we have a culture team. We have a social emotional um, focus that we also uh, implement through our advisory program. Um, and we have lovely dedicated staff who show up every day for our kiddos. And the kiddos are the superstars really who come in every day and focus on going to their college or career of their choice, which is our mm -hmm. mission. Um, we want to prepare students to ensure that they reach whichever college or career that they want to pursue. Awesome. Well, a lot of stuff there, a lot going on here. Yeah. Um, and I can definitely attest to the vibrance of the students and staff that we saw walking through here. Um, tell me a little bit more about that college and career readiness part. Uh, I know you talked about some scholarship opportunities. Yeah. I mean, what, what's that all about? Absolutely. Um, so we have nearly 100% acceptance to college. Wow. Um, and we have a dedicated team here. We have a vice principal of college and we have a junior college counselor as well as two uh, senior college counselors and mm -hmm. one school counselor. Our ratio for students um, to get support from a college counselor is 1 to 40 right now. Um, okay, and uh, we really support them through the whole process of like uh, picking schools, of um, applying to those schools, getting teacher recommendations. Um, okay. And then Coney Island Prep also has a college um, access alumni team. Um, so once they go to college, this team um, supports them once they're there, making sure their financial aid is good, making sure they're just helping to navigate through college. Um, and what one thing that is very special about Coney Island Prep is that we have Pride Promise. Mm -hmm. um, and Pride Promise is basically the promise that we match any scholar that's going to wow. um, college, their scholarship funds, um, given certain criteria, but every single scholar is eligible to get college um, money. Wow, amazing. And you just mentioned Pride, and I saw that you know in a few different places in the building. What is that Pride acronym here at the school? Yeah, so Pride is for our, um, it's our scholar values, mm -hmm. um, and they essentially stand for different things, for excellence, for drive, for perseverance, and it's used around the entire network. So at the elementary school, at the upper elementary, at the middle school, we all have the PRIDE um, acronym, but okay. at each level, the P would stand for something different, the I would stand for something different, um, and that's essentially to match their developmental stage. Um, so yeah. Okay, cool. And another one, aside from the PRIDE, I also saw this Riptide and this Waves theme going on. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, so um, each of our schools has a mascot, um, mm -hmm. and ours is the Riptide at the high school. Okay. Um, and it really matches our incentive um, program for our students. Um, so whenever they're making great choices, we try to incentivize them and give them merits, and from there they land on a certain level when it comes to our Riptide um, program, and um, they get certain um, rewards from there. So at the college, I mean, excuse me, at the high school level, uh, they get to go off campus if they're um, 10th to 12th grade um, They for lunch. Um, and then they also get to dress down on certain dress down mm -hmm. days. We have Riptide Pride Day, um, which is for scholars who have reached a certain level. They get to dress down, we give them snacks, they come in and we give them like a little rip, uh, a little wristband to show that they got their uh, Riptide level. Mm -hmm. um, and so we really just try to incentivize them to be proud like proud of their school and proud of their choices and to make the best choices that they can every day. Sure. Um, and I see that you're building essentially not just independent learners but independent people. Yeah. 
and that they also had an opportunity to to really earn some of those things to go to common rooms you had yeah. table tennis and foosball and some cool stuff Definitely. So um, one of the areas that we got to visit was the commons. Um, mm -hmm. So while 10th and 12th graders have the option of going off campus, sh should they choose that, um, right. sometimes they stay on campus a lot, um, ninth graders also can go to the commons. Um, and the commons is basically for any of them who are in a certain level, they go over there, they hang out. Um, there's like you mentioned, foosball, ping pong, pool table. There's a microwave, which is very popular so that they can <laughs> eat up their food. Um, and they just get to hang out. Um, there's a staff member who monitors them. Um, and it's a special incentive reward that they get based off their type. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, are there any other real unique attributes or features about the school? Yeah, um, I think one of the greatest things that we also do in addition to Pride Promise, um, we have sent scholars to study abroad in the past. Um, okay. And so we also try to uh, sign them up for different summer programs. Um, the study abroad program tends to happen over the summer. Um, we've had scholars who have gone to like Latin America, to Europe, mm -hmm. to different countries in those um, continents and um, have gotten to like volunteer and have gotten to support. Um, additionally, in addition to our um, like dedicated college team and alumni team, we also have like extracurriculars here. So mm -hmm. we have um, over 30 different clubs where a scholar wow. essentially, if they want to start a club, they just have to find a staff member who sponsors it and our staff volunteer their time. We have different clubs from um, cooking club to video game club to queer club to workout club to um, just full, different clubs. Full range yes. of that, yeah. um, Additionally, we also have athletics here. So we have a basketball team, we have a flag football team, um, we have a volleyball team for the girls, okay. um, we have cheerleading as well. Uh, we have different um, athletics that we try to expose them to and sign them up for. Okay, yeah. great. Um, and you did mention volunteering, and I know we were talking a little bit about some of the kind of community partnerships and community ties. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about that and just what this community is like here? Yeah, so um, some of the partnerships that we have in the community, we partner with the YMCA, we also mm -hmm. partner with the Coney Island Alliance, um, which we do Coney Island Gives Thanks, um, and that's when Coney Island Prep comes together and we give out turkeys and food to oh, cool. um, the neighborhood, um, and some of our high schoolers get to participate in that, which is very fun. Awesome. Um, another thing that you mentioned that I thought was a really cool thing was this kind of mentorship with some of the older and younger students. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, our SEL program at the high school level is really implemented through our advisories. Um, mm -hmm. So each of our students are set up in a group of like five to like 13 at most. Most of them average around eight to 10 kids maybe or less. Um, and they partnered with a advisor when they start in ninth grade and they stay in that same advisory all throughout their high school career. So with the same kids and the same advisor. Okay. Um, Some nice continuity there. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So they really grow to like learn each other and really grow these bonds and mm -hmm. that advisor is there to support them. Um, and a great thing that we do during our graduation is that typically most high schools um, have the principal give the diploma to scholars, but we actually mm -hmm. have our advisors give the diploma to scholars. Um, okay. And what we've done this year is we have partnered um, in homeroom um, older advisories, so 11th and 12th graders with younger advisory, like 9th and 10th graders. Um, and that's really just to support scholars, the younger scholars, to get acclimated to high school. Sure, and that to transition. Have, exactly, and to have that mentorship um, from seeing what the, the, the older advisor, um, advisories are doing. Um, and college starts to feel even more real when they see the juniors and the seniors um, applying to college. Um, so that's something that we've done this year, and I, I really love our advisory program. Yeah. It's really great. And that's great, just building kind of a sense of community where it's not separate grades, each doing their own thing, Absolutely. but really bringing, you know, coming together as a school and as a, like I said, as a community there. Absolutely, yes. We really like to promote a family feel here. Um, mm -hmm. Our kiddos, like I mentioned, we're a network of four schools, so we really want to have our kids come in kindergarten and see them grow all the way through 12th grade um, and graduate them to whatever college or career that they want to go to, and then even once they step out into the real world, still support them and whatever they need. Um, and even something that I mentioned earlier is that we had the alumni fellowship program, which we launched this year. Um, mm -hmm. And we were so fortunate enough to have three alumni come back to us. We have two of them who are actual teachers in our lower campuses, and we have one who's an operations associate um, at the upper elementary school. Um, mm -hmm. And it's really great to see them come back and talk to us about not only their experience in college, but then also to employ them in the real world and like to see our work come to fruition when we have our kiddos like have jobs and come service their community that they yeah. come from. 
Yeah, I'm so glad you mentioned that. I, I know we're going to learn a little bit more about the elementary school and a little bit more about the network in a second, mm -hmm. but you just talked about kind of that cycle of coming back here. Mm -hmm. And one of the things you had mentioned was like your fellowship program, as well as, um, I, I can't remember the exact name, but some teachers. The Apprentice Teacher Program. Yeah. Can, yeah. You, can you tell me a little bit about those? Yeah. So CIP also um, has an Apprentice Teacher Program, mm -hmm. um, and we basically have uh, like uh, people who come and, and apply to our apprentice teacher program who want to be teachers. Okay. Um, and while so it's kind of a training for it's future kind teachers. Of a training, yeah. Okay, so gotcha. while they're getting their masters um, and their certification in teaching, um, they're essentially mentored by one of our staff members throughout their whole like um, it's a two year program. Um, okay. And we definitely do have are very fortunate to keep a lot of those teachers here. So once they like graduate the apprentice teacher program, then a lot yeah. of them choose to stay with us. That's great, yeah, and really just staying in the community, giving back, and you know, completing that cycle. Yeah, definitely. And what was the, the fellowship program? How does that one work? Yeah, so the fellowship program is uh, for our alumni, mm -hmm. um, and so we had launched it this year, and we had specifically tried to recruit um, alumni, and um, we had positions for either teaching positions or an operations associate position. Okay. Um, and we were really excited to employ three of our alumni to come in. Um, oh, that's and great. Yeah, the great thing about it is that, like, not only are we employing them, but we do give them professional development throughout the year, mm -hmm. just so that they can navigate like the professional setting and what it is to transition from college into a career, um, as they're just like you know getting their feet wet and starting their adult life outside of college. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah, I mean everything we've seen here, all the preparation, all the facilities, really sounds like it's it's not just the academics, but it's really building you know future, uh, really building successful people for the future, for their career, whatever that may be. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that our highlight of everything that we do is the kids and um, from getting to see them, I work at the high school so I see the little ones from mm -hmm. afar, but um, I have been someone who has worked in elementary and middle school before and getting to see them in high school and just choose the colleges that they go to. Yeah. We also have like an event um, at the end of the year that is called signing day and that is an opportunity where our seniors get to like show off a t-shirt that shows what college they got accepted to and it's like a oh, very cool. big deal we invite the lower campuses to it um and just like really acknowledge all of the hard work that they've done yeah. and it's great to see just their dreams come true um and it really just puts everything into perspective from an educator's lens um that you get to see all the hard work that you put into into helping other children's yeah. dreams come true and that sounds great an event like that where they're not just showing it off for this community, but really building that excitement with the other campuses, mm -hmm. with the lower campuses, so that it really just kind of flows right in there. And from a very young age, they see like, hey, this is what success looks like. These are the type of students we're building um, and beyond students, right? Absolutely, yeah. And that it's very attainable and that they can do whatever it is that they choose to do. Um, and it's, a, it's great to also see the siblings that go to the different schools and they get to see um, their older siblings on that stage showing mm -hmm. off what college they choose to go to um, or on graduation day get going, seeing them get their diploma and in their um, cap and gown. Um, it's really just magical. Powerful moment, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And for parents and students who might not know where the school is, mm -hmm. where are you located and if you have a website that they can find information, what's that? Yeah, definitely. So all our campuses are located in South Brooklyn. We were actually one of the first charter schools in South Brooklyn. Okay. Um, and our website is coneyislandprep.org. Uh, they can definitely visit us there and learn more about our school, learn more about our staff and our programs. Um, and we definitely encourage them to come visit, come meet our kids, come meet us. Um, we'd love to service our kids and especially the ones in our community. Great. Um, well, you can visit their website and also check out their profile information about what the school offers and application info on scola.com. Patricia, thank you so much for having us today. Thank you so much for being here. Of course. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's Scola School Chat video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to watch more of our awesome videos, make sure to click here. And to stay up to date with all the awesome videos we post and subscribe to our channel, make sure to click here. See you on the next one!